Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate the Nexmo app that I built in the last video into a really basic Flask app. So what I'm going to do is have a very simple form that allows you to add a phone number and a message to send to that phone number and a button for you to send it. And then Nexmo will take care of actually sending the message to the phone number. So it's going to be very similar to the last video, but instead of a console, it's going to be a really basic Flask app. So I already have the code from the last video up right now. And then I created this template file that is just a form with a phone number and a message. So here's what it looks like. Uh, you input the phone number, a message, and send. And this will actually send the message to whatever phone number that you specify. So let's get started building this. The very first thing I want to do is uh, convert this send text file into a Flask app. So like I said, it's going to be a simple Flask app, but uh, I can kind of work around the things that I did already. So first thing I'll do is I'll import Flask. So from Flask, import Flask. I'll be using two other functions. I'll be using render template and not quite a function, but the request dictionary. So request, and then I'll instantiate the Flask object. That should be name. And then I'll return a route, or I'll return from the index route the template that I created. So return render template index HTML. And for now, I'll comment out all this stuff because I don't need it for now. I just want to get the template up and running. So I'll add the app run down here. save this and that will return the template pretty simple so I'll run this syntax and once the server starts I should be able to see it so now it's returning the template so now what I want to do is I want to allow whatever message and number is typed into this form to be sent to the phone number so I'll create a second route and I'll call it send. This send is going to accept only post requests. So I'll add that here. There should be a list of methods and there will only be one. And I'll create a function. And here's where I'll add the next most stuff. So this client part, this client part can actually go outside of the route. So I'll leave it up here. And I don't need these raw inputs anymore because that was for the console. So the first thing I'll need here is the client.send message. So I'll copy this and I'll put it right here in the send function. So this is the same method we saw in the last video, which takes in a number and a message and it sends it from your next phone number. So make sure that's all correct here. And of course, if you didn't watch the first video, you might want to watch that one first. Okay, so after you sent the message, let me get rid of this. Uh, you're going to get the response. So I rewrote the variable in the last video. I didn't realize it. So I'll call this something else. I'll call this response text. And it just takes whatever the response sends back uh, in the messages. That can either be uh, a message ID or an error text, as you see down here. So what I want to do finally is return either the sent message saying uh, the message has been sent and the message ID, or I want to return an error. So to do that, I'll take this, which I had in the last video. So I can get rid of all this down here. And then let me indent this correctly. Uh, I can't print anymore because I'm not using the console. So I'll add return statements instead. And of course, Flask handles return statements like this with just strings in them as HTML. So I can't use the comma anymore because it's a return statement. So I'll change those two periods. So if the response status is zero, then that means the message was sent successfully. Uh, it will say sent message plus whatever the message ID is. And if there's an error, then it will say what the error is. So I'll save this and I'll restart the server and let's take a look. 
So first, let me put in an invalid number, a number that's not on the whitelist in my next mode configuration. So there's an invalid number, and here's an invalid number. So I'll send that, and I get this error non-white listed destination rejected. So that's what I expected. So now what I'll do is I'll send a message to my actual phone number, and then I'll forward it to this text now account like I did in the last video. So from a Flask app. So now I'll hit send. And since that number is on my whitelist, I should get a text message. And I don't know if you heard that, but I'll forward this message to my text now account. So just a moment while I do that. Okay, that's sent. And I see on the left-hand side over here, I have a message from a Flask app and it has the next mode demo because I'm using the demo account. So it's really that simple to have a simple Flask app that sends text messages. So of course you can expand this in any ways that you want. You can have um, message flashing instead of the ugly sent message here or the error that I have on the post route. And uh, however you can think of integrating this into your application if you need to do so. But like I said in the last video, I think this is better for cases where you want to get a message to yourself quickly because you don't check your email as often and you check your phone more often. So I think this is great for logging. But if you can come up with any other use case, then that would be great. So if you have any questions about this video, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.